welcome to TV Games. In this recap, Pennyworth Season 2. Several months passed since the last season. Lord Harwood escaped and his Raven Union has the British Army's backing, having taken over most of the UK. Alfred runs a bar and does side jobs for both sides, being paid by Aces, now a League Council member, to kidnap Salt, a supposedly minor Raven Union functionary. He is collecting money to leave the country for the USA. Meanwhile, Martha Kane meets with a returning Thomas Wayne, who tells her that he is engaged to be married. Beth Skies now works as a captain in an interrogation center of the Raven Union, and unhappy with her job, kills her superior and escapes with an art student prisoner. It is also shown that Salt is working on Project Stormcloud, a poison gas weapon. The CIA tasks Thomas Wayne to find dirt on Archbishop Potter, as he's an open opponent of nuclear warfare. He meets with Alistair Crowley, who agrees to ruin the Archbishop's reputation for a kiss. Alfred and his friends get ready to leave the country with the money they accumulated. Amateur criminals kidnap Alfred's mother on the behest of Mask Mr. X in return for the money. What it is revealed it was Lieutenant Aces who set up the whole thing and shops up as Alfred frees his mom, resulting in the kidnappers getting away with the money. Meanwhile, Crowley seduces the Archbishop, which causes Potter to resign and commit suicide. Martha, realizing from a comment by Alfred that it was Thomas who hired Crowley, confronts him. Beth and Katie take refuge at the home of a teacher of the latter. Harwood orders Salt to bring back Beth alive, but Salt's policeman open fire at the house. At Bass's funeral, Gully Troy shows up and Alfred agrees to do a robbery with him. Aces gets elected as a prime minister. Alfred gets angry at seeing Troy abuse his wife, and they nearly come to blows, but then he agrees to do one last job with him. Alfred secretly kisses Mrs. Troy. Thomas and Martha reconcile and have sex. The Raven leadership attends a demonstration of Stormcloud, and is shown how capable it is of quickly and efficiently killing prisoners. Unknowingly, they are being filmed by an undercover Lucius Fox. Saul tells Lord Harwood about Gunn's secret meeting, who no longer trusting her, has her in prison, while Thomas receives a message from Lucius Fox, asking to be extracted. Alfred gives in to the advances of Gunn's wife, Melanie, and they have romantic sex. Prime Minister Aces and the Queen recruit him for one last job against his will, by blackmailing him with their knowledge that he had a fling with Melanie. Alfred, Dave Boy, and Martha spring Lucius Fox from the Raven Union, though it is a bloodshed. Lucius tells Thomas that Stormcloud is ready within a week and could kill everyone in London via a fear-induced chemical attack, but Thomas can do little but warn CIA upper management. Martha is revealed to be pregnant with Thomas' child. In the Raven Union, Salt manipulates an eager young lieutenant to speak up for Mrs. Gaunt, while also drugging and manipulating Harwood. Under the influence of the drugs, Lord Harwood has a mental breakdown and beats the lieutenant to death, and is locked up, allowing Salt to take over. Against their orders, they go to Martha and give the footage to Aces, both of them deciding to stay in England. Goldie is suspicious of him, attacks Melanie and tries to kill her, but she wounds him and escapes to Alfred. He buys her a ticket as well, but in the end decides to stay in England and fight. He Lord Harwood pretends he wants to surrender to Salt directly, but then draws his weapon on him calling him a traitor and gets shot dead. Beth and Peck kidnap Vicky, Salt's mistress, but Katie talks Beth out of hurting her. Al Golly leads Alfred to the woods, stabs him, then hunts him. While wounded, Alfred gets the upper hand after creating a trap from branches. However, he refuses to kill Godly, delirious from his wound, and is revealed that Alfred's father is alive, bound to a life support wheelchair. Thomas, Martha, and Lucius approach Alfred for assistance in breaking into the Raven Union to steal Stormcloud. Martha seemingly agrees to Thomas' proposal of marriage. Alfred manages to secure Stormcloud and escape, but not before Salt captures them. Meanwhile, Beth and Peg locate and free Mrs. Grant. Salt grants Mr. Pennyworth another chance to persuade Alfred to join the Union. Mr. Pennyworth betrays the Union as Alfred kills the guard and they steal some clothes. On the way out, Alfred calls Aces to inform him about their success. Mrs. Pennyworth learns her husband is still alive, while everyone celebrates at the League HQ. Golly storms in looking for Alfred and accidentally breaks the capsule, revealing it to be inactive. Salt reveals Stormcloud 
which is already in London. Martha says yes to Thomas and Aces marries them on the spot. Having second thoughts about letting his family die for his cause, Mr. Pennyworth tells Alfred a storm cloud was smuggled into London inside Lord Harwood's coffin. Alfred and Dave Boy locate the bomb and Lucius tries to inactivate it. Meanwhile, Salt is attacked by the Sky's sisters in the penthouse and beaten up, but manages to get the detonator and trigger it. Alfred offers to swallow the capsule, but Gully volunteers. The detonation is averted, but he turns blue and, and dies. Mr. Pennyworth says goodbye to his wife and then unplugs his life support to pass away. Six months have passed. The new Raven alliances, led by Francis Gaunt, assaults London while Martha gives birth to a baby girl. Alfred leads the counterattack with Dave Boy, Beth and Katie, and are joined by the revived Gully, who now has a life draining powers. Thanks for watching Pennyworth Season 2 Recap. Hope you enjoy season 3. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching TV Games.